My name's Ron Livingston. I'm playing a, a man named Lewis Nixon. He was the intelligence officer for Easy Company in the Second World War, 506th Parachute Infantry Regiment, and I shot a video diary. Here it is. The first thing they did for us was they set up a 10-day actor boot camp. They train us in the same way that they train military people. It seems that the only difference is if you say screw you in, in real boot camp, they can throw you in jail. Um, if you say screw you in actor boot camp, they can't put you in jail. They just call Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks. <laughs> so I uh, got on the plane to London. Did a little weapons training on the way over there. We almost had a few casualties in, in customs, uh, including Matthew Settle and Ian Bailey. Uh, the guys playing Spears and, and Webster uh, didn't have their work permits, so they got they got detained for a while. We're gonna oh, be sent that's back. Brilliant. Yeah. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. right there. We're gonna be sent back. I don't care about that anymore. I'm just too wrapped up in it. Yes. Oh, he didn't realize he was recording. So it was the first of many times when when somebody tried to take the camera away. They'd given us these Corcoran jump boots that we were gonna wear. They felt like they were made out of uh, of like corrugated tin when we first got them. We knew we were gonna have to run in them on Monday, so one of the guys played played hockey for a while. I said, oh, well, here's what you do. You stick them on your feet, go stick them in a tub full of hot water, and then uh, wear them around that night, and, uh, and if you can, sleep in them. And then by the morning, they'll fit really well. Any anytime a show starts, you know, one of the one of the first things that you do is is kind of everybody everybody's sizing each other up a little bit, you know. It's kind of like, all right, uh, who's this guy? Is he gonna be a good guy? No. <laughs> but this was the first day that everyone was kind of thrown together, and nobody really knew what to think. Ron, Ross, no, Ross, no, Ross. And everybody's a little apprehensive about meeting Captain Dale Die. He's basically carved out. Uh, a, a franchise niche as military advisor to the movies. He and his company have been involved in, in pretty much every major war movie that's been made. And there's a lot of, a lot of stories floating around. Uh, we knew all the guys in Private Ryan. Uh, Mutiny didn't want him to quit, you know, halfway through. And so everybody seemed to have a different story and everybody seemed to have something different to expect. And the next thing we did is we get sent down to, down to wardrobe. Now you're gonna see an amazing transformation. There's a, a airplane hangar just filled with racks and racks of uniforms. So, vest, shot, trousers, M42, pants, paper jacket. Okay. Your kit bag here, underwear, thermals, poncho. <laughs> That's it. Looking good. Webbing? Webbing, please. Webbing, please. Uh, Livingston playing Nixon. Webbing is, uh, it's that, that you know, G.I. Joe kind of. Uh, the harness, backpack, musette bag, stuff hanging off of you. You get all suited up, and it's kind of like, all right, damn, I look like a soldier. Not to a soldier, you don't look like a soldier, but you know, you think you do. <laughs> so, we're standing in the commissary in, in Hatfield, ready to get on the bus, and uh, in come the sergeants. Here on out, we're no longer called by your civilian name. So what you came in as is no longer what you are. We're going to use the name that you're going to have throughout this picture. Nixon! Sir! I, of course, am, am dutifully recording the whole thing for uh, HBO and posterity when Sir. the cadre, the sergeants, who apparently haven't been notified by HBO uh, <laughs> that this is going to happen, uh, see it. That camera, use it now, it's going away. Okay. Because it will not last. I know it's okay. And I actually had to put it away for a couple of days, but uh, there's a little gap of about three or four days that uh, no one's ever going to see. When you used to reply to somebody, it's yes. Get used to it, yes. If you're British, yes. If you're American, yes. Not yeah, yep, yo. What's up, yo, dog? All that stuff's gone. 1940s, right? Start using it. If somebody says, Staff Sergeant Farnsworth becomes a captain, and I see him, I will call you to attention, and I will salute, and you will all stand at attention. 
and he'll tell us to stand at ease, stand at attention, chew our ass, and make us do push-ups, all that other fun stuff. I like that you're smiling now. We are so fucked.